hello and welcome to the final video of this series on how to increase your testosterone levels naturally today we're going to be talking about sleep and lifestyle so sleep is possibly the most understated phase in your whole endeavors to get your testosterone levels up the pineal gland gonadal axis communication happens the most when you're asleep so you want to ensure that you have enough time and opportunity to get this quality sleep very briefly so we can move on and keep the video short i'll give one major tip for sleep block out as much light as possible i do this by putting garbage bags over my windows and also having an eye mask if you're getting into that yang all day and you're pursuing something you need to balance it out with the yin which is sleeping you need that time to relax so that you can continue to drive forward later on Sleep becomes a lifestyle, and that's why I've included it in this video, because your sleeping patterns are largely determined by the lifestyle you lead. So to improve your lifestyle overall, instead of going on a forever spiel, because there are so many things to talk about in lifestyle, I'm just going to give you five points, briefly, on how to maximize your day-to-day -day and increase your testosterone levels in doing so. First of all is priming. An audited, I'm sorry, a guided audio session by Tony Robbins. The link to it is in the description box below. I do this every morning, and at the end of the 14 minute session, you dictate three things that you're going to achieve. So the point in that leading to the second is, you want your 24 hours to be intentional. Everyone, everyone, including the people you admire and respect the most, all work with 24 hours. Nobody has more or less time. We're all utilizing this 24 hours. So you want to make it intentional so that you are moving forward in a notable and traceable fashion right third is you need goals what are you going to make those three things that you're going to do what vision do you have for yourself increasing your testosterone levels what kind of life will that lead to what kind of body does that lead to what kind of energy does that lead to have these goals in mind because one having a purpose is part of the masculine body it is the masculine right but also when you achieve goals you create testosterone because it's like yes i've accomplished this thing so there are, is a multifaceted reward from setting goals and achieving them. Fourth, surround yourself with women. There's a study that I'll have the link to below. Just by spending time with women you deem attractive, because it is a subjective thing, you increase your testosterone levels just by spending time with them. Also too, learn about cold approach or seduction, pickup, game, whatever label you want. Being able to approach women, converse with them, and leave that scenario unscathed is hugely important. Disraeli, a prime minister, once said this, talk to women. This is the best school. This is how you gain fluency. The most important and impactful thing for a young man to do is to be well criticized by women. Surround yourself with women, surround yourself with that feminine and allow it to motivate you, but also to interact with it without fear, without attachments, without any of this negativity. Because there's three major things that you can look at and attribute to the masculine energy, which is being grounded, on your purpose, and free. If you approach a woman and she rejects you and it destroys your state, then you're not grounded in who you were before. Much of the time, she's testing you to see if the vibe you came up with is really real. And when you crumble under it, she sees that, no, this guy's not grounded in his own energy. You know, he's flimsy. He'll fold just under a girl rejecting him she correlates that to your ability to stand tall to the rest of the world not just to her chaos but to the world's chaos you'll know you're on purpose as well because when you're interacting with these attractive women you're improving the state of your body you're creating this testosterone by challenging yourself and being around these girls and when you have the ability to interact without needing anything and without losing anything in the interactions being able to act how you want that's the freedom you're conditioning your mind to be able to approach and interact with anyone you meet at any time. And that's going to be helpful for the rest of your life. Your network is your net worth, right? So you want to have that conditioning inside of you. When you see somebody who you deem high value, like, oh, they may be a great connection, you want to already be able to have that skill set to go for it. Lastly, five is law two from the 48 laws of power. Use enemies. Number four, talking to women and five, come to this point. Challenge grows the masculine. The masculine grows through challenge. So if you go for some person that you think is out of your league or whatever, that's going to be challenging. It's going to force you to grow. As Disraeli said, it's going to gain you fluency. When you use enemies, competitors, 
you're allowing these challenges to come to you and you move with them, you accept them, you recognize that these people who may be better than me in certain areas or are just competitors to me in whatever area, they're causing me to grow just by their existence. So I'm gonna accept that and like utilize this opportunity rather than, oh, I have to deal with this or whatever. Know that it's an opportunity to grow. That was it. I hope you've enjoyed this entire series. There is one last video coming, resources, but it won't be direct giving of information in the same way. I'll just be showing the books and saying, this is what I used to learn how to create the physique I want or to, you know, lifestyle, whatever, whatever. So I think I've said enough here. I hope the tip I've given you on sleeping and the five points I've made about lifestyle, you'll be able to use today to increase your testosterone levels, create a better sense of well-being, bring wealth into your life, and most of all, help you be responsible and take control of your body, because that's the biggest thing. That was the goal of this whole series, was to provide information for people who want to take control of their bodies, hormones specifically, and optimize their physiology. Thank you so much. See you next time.